Now go with me. Let's look at another promise here. Listen, friends, some of these are, you know, just the word if and then, you know, that, that, that's kind of easy to discern. But let's start looking at some of the other ones here. Because remember, the, these promises here, the Protestant world believes that God, no matter what, is going to fulfill his promises with literal Israel, literal Jews. Uh, but we, we're going to go through the Bible and we're going to see if that is so. Even though they reject him, are, is God still going to fulfill his side of the uh, agreement? Go with me to 1 Kings chapter 6. This here is a promise in which many Christians today take and say that God says he was going to be with Israel forever. And so if God was going to be with Israel forever, he could not have rejected them once and for all when Jesus came to this world and they rejected him. They say God must still have a plan for the nation of Israel. But friends, let's read the verses carefully. Notice 1 Kings chapter 6, verses 12 and 13. 1 Kings 6, verse 12 and 13. The Bible says, Concerning this house, and that's speaking of Solomon's temple, concerning this house which thou art in building, now notice, if thou wilt do what? Walk in my statutes and execute my judgments and keep all my commandments to walk in them, then will I perform my word with thee, which I spake unto David thy father, and I will dwell among the children of Israel and will not forsake my people Israel. Once again, friends, is this promise here conditional of God being with them and them being God's special people? Listen, friends, it says, if you do this, then I will perform this, God says. It is without a doubt conditional. I mean, it'd be the same thing as me saying, um, you know, I, I, t I tell my uh, daughter, I say, look, if you go out back and rake up those leaves, then I will give you uh, $20, let's say, right? Now, if she doesn't, I mean, that's a condition, right? If she does something, then I will do something. So if she doesn't rake the leaves and I still give her the $20, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the fool, really. I'm a liar. And these, this theology that Israel is God's people no matter what, it's making the Bible untrue and it's making God's promises that he gave. It's making God look like a liar and a pushover. Uh, this is not the God that we serve. This is not the God of the Bible. The next one here, um, let's look at 2 Samuel chapter 7. Now here in 2 Samuel 7, we're going to uh, enter an area where uh, many people misunderstand the promises that God made. Now, before we read these verses, again, go to 2 Samuel chapter 7. Before we read these verses, let's notice something again. Remember, from the very beginning... There is the promise of the seed. Remember we read it in Genesis 3.15? So the question is, is there a holy line that begins after Genesis 3.15 and continues all the way to Christ? Listen, friends, we have the seed in Genesis 3.15. Is the seed promised to Abraham? Yeah. Is the seed promised to David? Yeah. So who is that seed that is promised to Abraham and promised to David? Friends, it's Jesus. And listen, we need to remember this as we move along. Now notice 2 Samuel chapter 7. We're going to look at verses 12 and 13. 2 Samuel chapter 7 verses 12 and 13. The Bible says, and when thy days be fulfilled and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, notice, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build an house for my name and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Now let's ask some questions now. Was David going to have a seed of his 
upon the throne forever according to what we just read here? Absolutely. And was the throne going to be established forever? Without a doubt. That's what it says. See, friends, this is why so many Christians today will say, see, it says that David would have someone on the throne forever. And they say that God, you know, they will say that God still must have, you know, some type of plans for literal Israel. But now, friends, listen, let's let's look at this here. Here's the key question. Who is this seed? Is this the same seed of Genesis 